In a neighborhood communications environment, there are two possible ways to gather and collect information. Utilizing runners or two-way radios. Two-way radios come in two different types available to the public. There are FRS radios, there are GMRS radios, and then there are FRS GMRS radios. FRS radios do not require a license. GMRS radios do. Now let's talk about the use of FRS radios and their applicability in an emergency situation. What's nice about radios is they require no infrastructure. All they require are fresh batteries and someone who is on the same channel and with the same group code that you have. They are very effective with the utilization by core members in collecting and passing information back to the neighborhood incident command. FRS radios have a limited range. That is both good and bad. The good is that neighborhoods close to you who might be on the same frequency will not overtalk your conversation. The bad is that unless you're in line of sight, your communications sometimes will be problematic. Local conditions do affect radio transmission. You may have blind spots or holes. In this case, you will need to utilize a relay or a third person. Let's talk about the features of a two-way radio. All radios, regardless of their size, shape, or color, have common features. They'll have an antenna, they'll have an on-off volume knob, they'll have a display screen, and they will all have a push-to-talk button. They have the ability to select channels, they have the ability to select group codes, they have the ability to adjust the volume, and as long as you have fresh batteries and your partner is on the same channel and group code that you're on, you can speak to one another. Let's talk about how to use a two-way radio. There are two things you must remember. Always speak in a clear and concise voice, and you must push the push to talk button to speak, and you must release the push to talk button to listen. Let me demonstrate. By turning on the power and volume knob, a number appears on the display. This is the channel that you will be talking on. It must be the same channel as your team member. If you're using privacy codes, then you must have the same privacy code. Now let's talk about protocols when utilizing two-way radios. There are four different functions when speaking and or listening on a radio. The first one is contact. You are attempting to contact someone on your team by depressing the push to talk button and calling out that team's number. Acknowledgement is when that team that you've contacted responds to your call and you have now established communication. Transfer is utilizing the word over so that you have signified that you've released the push to talk button and you are ready to listen. Closure or copy is utilize that you have understood the information and you are ready to proceed. Now let's talk about setting up a neighborhood net. There are two different types of nets. There is a directed or closed net, and then there's a multiple neighborhood net. With a directed or closed net, sometimes referred to as a conference call, a group on the same channel and with the same group code can all communicate with one another using the proper protocol. That is a directed net. A multiple neighborhood net is one where several neighborhoods with different frequencies can come together and discuss what incidents may be occurring in their neighborhood by using a common channel. We encourage this type of group to be established in other neighborhoods. Volunteers are available to assist you in this effort. In review, all of your team members must be on the same frequency and utilizing the same group code. You must have a supply of fresh batteries. And remember, take your time and speak in a clear and concise voice. Push the push to talk button when speaking and release the push to talk button when listening. And remember, 
practice, practice, practice. Now I'd like to thank you for your time and your involvement with your local core group. If we can be of any assistance, volunteers are available. For more information, visit our website, oaklandcore.org, or contact us by phone at 510-238-6351, or by email to core at oaklandnet.com. This training video was funded by a Community Emergency Response Team grant.